Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to look at the three ball positions you need to play this great game of golf. Stay tuned. So what are the three ball positions that you need to play golf? The first ball position I'm going to talk about is any shot you play from the grass, so whether it's a fairway wood, whether it's a three iron, whether it's a seven iron, a nine iron, a pitch, all of those shots you play from the middle of your stance. So if I put a golf ball there, that's in line with that tee, all I need to do is make sure that that is in the middle of my stance there and that is the correct ball position for every single shot you hit from the fairway. And the reason we do that is because the club swings in a U-shape. It comes up and it comes down. So we need that club to hit underneath the ball and we need that happening at the bottom of the swing. Where is the bottom of the swing? It should be halfway between my feet. So if we can do that, the club gets under the ball and the ball goes in the air due to the loft of the golf club. So that's the ball position we need for all shots played from the fairway. The other ball position, or the second ball position we need, is when we use a driver, or pretty much any shot we play from the tee. If I was to have the ball in the middle of my stance like I did with all those fairway shots, I'm gonna catch the ball too, far too high on the club face. I'm gonna get under it and it's gonna sky it. During the course of the swing, as I said, the club comes down and it comes up like a U-shape. So we need to move the ball forward in our stance so that we can actually catch the ball on the up slightly or hitting it with a, an ascending blow or improving the angle of attack. It's a positive angle of attack. But we're basically, we're not hitting up on it. The club is coming up of its own accord. You don't really want to feel like you're hitting up because that will make you top it. So to encourage that nice centered contact, we just move the ball to the left hand side and that just happens to be level with my left heel. So when I take my driver, the ball's teed up nice and high. We want half the ball to be above the crown of the golf club. And from that position, I'm in, a, in the right position for my club to come down, bottom out there, make contact with it, and the ball will launch in the air. So we'll see how I go with that one. And that ball launched nice and high, just a gentle little fade, but because of the ball position being forward, I was able to make contact on the up. So what's the last position? The last position we need to learn is when we play a chip shot, we want the ball to be level with our right foot or the back foot. So when we play a chip, we want to keep the club low to the ground. We want the ball to go low, land on the green, and then release and run to the hole. So by having the ball back in my stance, level with my right foot, it enables me to keep the club lower to the ground, hit it with a slightly descending blow. Remember with the driver, we were wanting an ascending blow. By moving the ball back in my stance, it encourages a slight descending blow. And that helps me to get the ball just slightly in the air. And from there, the ball runs. So they're the three ball positions you need to learn to play golf. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor. And if you like my videos, you can click on the subscribe button down there. You can also go to one of my other videos, which is a simple chipping method, which you can click on up there. We can also go to a video I filmed earlier, how to improve the launch angle, which is over there. And you can also go to how to get the hybrid or fairway wood in the air by clicking on that video there. You can also go to my website, which is www.thegolfdoctor.com.au and you can sign up to my electronic newsletter.